Hi, this is Bobby Klein. I'm the translator and the interpreter of the I Ching. This is a new earth I Ching, easy to understand, easy to put to use. It's an oracle, 3,000 years of wisdom wrapped up in this. So sit back, take a breath. If you've got a question in your mind, ask it. If not, just hang in and you'll get some answers. And that's what this is all about. The I Ching, they say, is the book of change, and it is, but it's also the book of answers. All right. Tune in. Drop in. You're home. Yeah. Gray clouds gathering. Telling of the weather's change. Hey, time to wax your skis. That's it, man. The sky up here, the clouds are hovering and they're beautiful and they are pregnant with snow. So here we are waiting at the top of the mountain. Really getting ready as this beautiful, this beautiful United States winter is coming on. I, boy, we're enjoying being in America. You know, we're here in a small towns and the people are wishing each other happiness and smiling. And it's really a beautiful time of year. I love seeing the decorations and the lights and the Christmas trees and the menorahs and the people and it's really quite something, yeah. Gray clouds gathering, telling of winter's change. Time to wax your skis, baby. Yeah, that's what it's like. All right, as we look to the oracle and we get some advice for these winter days, as we begin to think and we begin to dream and we begin to be who we are, as we come into the time of remembering, remembering, our greatness, oh, yeah, remembering our strength, remembering who we are, who we are, who is this authentic self that I am, and, <clears throat> you know, it, it, it's a holiday time of year, and it, it, if you're into it, it's a great ride, you know, it's uh, Kwanzaa's coming up, and Hanukkah's here, and Christmas, and Boxing Day, and all coming together, you know, it's kind of beautiful, and we have seen a beautiful shift, a beautiful change, as we've been traveling, and I do love to travel. So we reach into the oracle, we reach in to see what is the advice for these times, tell us what just is happening What's going on? What will help us? What can our guidance be now? So, we see the lines. The yin line, yang, <laughs> the yin lines and the yang lines as they come together. And we get number seven, shai. The collective. The three lines above denote the center of the earth. The three below say it's the gorge. It's the taking of risks. Yeah, and we know about growth, and we know that growth is the taking of risks as we come together during times like this. And we find ourselves tapping into the collective, tapping into the beauty of the great thinkers, our cellular memory as we come into it. You know, I just was talking about I led a meditation down here for this beautiful group of uh, nurses at a place. I'm here getting a lot of tests, and um, uh, and the, it's it's at this wonderful wonderful clinic called Ultra Wellness. And man, they're looking at me. So I I led a uh, meditation, and we were talking about cellular memory, how in our cells that we can remember. 
find lives that have passed <clears throat> in our in our cells that we can find our ancestral memories and that's what it's about this great collective that we're all tuning into at the same moment at the same time so what does it tell us it says power to the people yeah let's go back to the 60s huh power to the people bring your legions together alone you will survive move together and you will prosper yeah you know as we look and we see what lies ahead we see above the horizon that it's nothing less than great now in order to grow even moderately grow there's great risk that much take place now it might seem out of balance you think great risk great gains but it doesn't always work like that it's not that your gain is restricted in any way it's quite the opposite in fact the field is wide open. The potential is greater than great. To access all the fulfillment that is yours, it's time to take a risk and move. No risk, no growth. This is implicit in this particular hexagram, the cosmological metaphor of being at war, it says, with all that has been held and the whole of humanity has been held back from the physical, environmental, environmental, spiritual leaf of faith that's necessary now and possible at this huge energetic shift on Earth. And man, our Earth, our Gaia, our Mother is in jeopardy. So this hexagram says that to clear the way for yourself, for your family, your tribe, your collective, you can no longer be the ordinary civilian. Who wants to be a civilian anyway? Standing by, right? Just observing the rush of activities flooding through your personal reality scene. Mm -mm. It, it's time to enter the fray. It's time to accept the mantle of leadership in your personal journey and among and with the collective. This means basic human social responsibility, your responsibility to the greater good. And just by being human, just by being human on the earth at this moment in time, it is our responsibility to be acting for the greater good. Well, for ourselves first, absolutely. But when we put things in order and we act for the greater good, the benefit now is, is waiting as you carefully and thoroughly align your inner life with your movement forward. You can then marshal your inner forces and set about readying yourself to meet the challenges that are ahead. And when there's growth, when there's movement, there will be challenges. There are some very real forces that are moving around now. Forces on the inner plane, also on the outer plane, on all levels of experience. All this is now being triggered. How? By who? By you. It's your response to your quest for achieving progress and for bringing completion to your plan of attaining contentment and peace of mind. And that's what it's about. You are the leader of your quest, and don't look outside yourself for the answers. They're not there. As a leader, you are called into service. And it doesn't mean you got to lead 10, 20, 1,000. You, you can just be the leader in your, in your circle, in your family, in your relationship. And that doesn't mean that you punish the others who are not leaders, but you walk together and you find a place to walk with your brothers and sisters. And then you come into service, and that's what this time is about. And that's what we're talking about, is to go into service. And look, it, it, it's not that we're just whimsical about coming into service. It's vital that we come into service. It's also vital to be disciplined as you marshal your inner forces, your legions. This challenge, or this test, if you will, must be met with an organized plan that is 
directed not by the ego, but by trusting your inner knowing, the conjunctio of heart and mind. You will not be harmed and will emerge victorious only if you meet the coming challenges with integrity and compassion and honesty. As you neutralize or defeat these negative forces or influences, you will find yourself emerging victorious with the achievement of having merged with the great flow, the cosmic flow. As your abundance grows and the package that is you of love and you and spirituality begins to unfold. And look, when you're getting in these places, it's delicate, man. Your ego is going to start to make noise in the background, like trying to lure you into the victory lap. See, if you're doing well, the ego's going to say, well, man, you're doing well. You better bling it up, better shine, better take that victory lap down the red carpet amid the flashing and the and the clicking of some imagined paparazzi. Uh-uh, that's not what this is about. Be humble. Use this energy to calm the mind and nourish the collective loving heart of compassion. Have compassion for your enemies. Have compassion for yourself. Have compassion for those around you, not judgment. Let your victory quietly benefit all, as all are in need of healing. And look, stay in the flow. You've sacrificed a lot, so stay in the flow. Don't give up what you've sacrificed for. Now, still your mind. This is prayer. We just be quiet. We still our mind. That's meditation. And in these newfound gains, bring a simplicity into your life as you share the benefits. Through sharing love, respect, money, riches, food, with everyone, with all around you, the ones who are in need, right? Right? In, in this way, your display is needed of beauty in this juncture, this coming together of the time wave. We have fears inside of us, and there's no doubt about that. That's part of the deal. But deconstruct the fears deep inside you. Be ruthless with yourself as you examine your penchant for drama for fear. Bring truth to the lies you've told yourself about you not being good enough or you are too late. Do not fear that you're not up to the task of leadership or that you're concerned that if you take such a blatant and sometimes outrageous risk to face everything boldly, fearlessly, that you'll fail. Look, In this action, there is no failure. You can't fail. The nature of the quest is such that those who enter with integrity and compassion cannot fail. Get that into your mind. You will not fail. And once you've assumed the role and the proper level of leadership and have taken the first step into risk consciousness, you'll be nourished by the influence of awaiting abundance. That's right. It's just waiting for you. You got to take action, but it's waiting for you. And you got to believe. Got to believe. All you need now is to start. Cross the line in the sand that's right in front of you. And you're there, right where you need to be. And it's here that you'll have the vision. You'll have the strength. You'll have the confidence that you need to accomplish the goals of this sacred journey, this beautiful journey the role of being in support of Gaia, of community, of your relationship, of your lovers, of your children, of your mates. The growth this will bring about will benefit all these things, bring benefit to what we call your tribe, your associates, and all sentient beings. And most of all, we'll work on the inner plane to free you, to feed your spirit, and bring you to touch your authenticity in the interconnected whole. And that's what the collective is, the interconnected whole. And you're a part of it, and don't doubt that you're a part of it. You're gathering by the river to marshal your forces. These forces are made useful by taking 
the transformational leap into risk, the risk of being guided, being guided by and trusting fully your intuition as you move forward. And when you come to really trusting your intuition, that's when your influence is great. Open your eyes. Open your heart. And fear not. Dig this. You are in initiation. Didn't you wonder why I was feeling like that, how important this time is right now? It's an important time. And that's what initiation is. You see, once you make the leap, you're in movement. And always be aware that risk is your companion, your energetic fuel, not your enemy, not an obstacle. You know well the work that you've done for yourself. You've studied, you've paid attention, you've gained knowledge, you've read, you've listened, you've had many, many times of improving yourself. And you've learned techniques to bring about equanimity. Consider the accidental lessons that have come as a shocking surprise that at first you were scared. You came with fear. And then gracefully, or sometimes not all gracefully, you moved into your heart. And you moved into the heart of your soul, that center point. Now, as you're facing a karmic challenge with this, what this time is about, whether it's in your business, your relationships, your family, your health, or in your sense of place in your emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being, you are called to gather these scattered elements and bring them together to make the shift in your personal situation. With actions such as these, you will triumph. You will triumph and you will be one with the inner light and one with the powerful aspect of your well-honed inner forces. They're there, you see. Spirit recognizes what you're doing, right? It, no, it, it's, spirit knows that you are you're working for, on yourself. And it, it, this pleases spirit. I think I've quoted this before, but I love what Ram does said. You know, he said, the greatest thing you can do for me is work on yourself. And the greatest thing I can do for you is to work on myself. And man, those are words to live by. Now we're being called to the collective to roll with your helpers. Because this is a great adventure, this initiation. Look to the helpers that you have, whether they're in body or out of body. And you have some people by your side, some fellow pilgrims, point out their strength. And don't judge their weaknesses. And don't judge your own weaknesses. Consider that you have an army of companions, whether near or far, that will support you and be the fuel to carry you across the divide. Yeah. That's the place where divine spirit emerges and connects you with all. Yeah, look, trust the feeling of oneness. Once you get your head around it, it's so beautiful. Because it is oneness where you find that you are not alone. And we're not alone. And we do have spirit helpers who are with us. And I've talked about this before. We all have a joyous dancing spirit that is there for us when it's necessary and when we need it. And we need to be light and we need to dance and we need to be whole and we need to be one with the divine. Gray clouds are gathering, telling a winter's change. Time to wax your skis, yeah. Well, from here in the cold weather, the beautiful trees that have no leaves, but it looks like some beautiful Japanese landscape as the clouds come. It's a beautiful time. What a great time this is to be alive. Appreciate your life. 
appreciate your love, appreciate your oneness with all. So from here, in the Berkshires in Massachusetts, I reach out to you and I say, in la kesha lakin, I am the other you. And as I say that, I really mean it as I reach out to you. And I reach out to some of the people who are around here. You know, I've talked about my blessed assistant. Allison has got my back. And I've got my friend who's doing these uh, beautiful retreats called I Am Love, where it brings people together with the vibration of love. And um, we're going to be taking a little a little ride uh, uh, up to a place called North Adams. We're going to be seeing the... Um, museums up there and opening ourselves up and learning more and more about this territory. So again, I tell you, as I say namaste to you, my brothers, as I say namaste to you, my sisters, you are the one that you've been looking for, right? It ain't outside yourself. So I say it. In La Kesha Lakin, I am the other you. And I like it that way. Yes, I do. Amen, y'all. Be the love that you desire. Walk with peace in every step. I can easily say that I love you. I'm so glad you're listening. Namaste, y'all. Namaste.